Students at Rubiru Primary School, a government-run school supported by the local community near Kenya's Lake Navasha, recently got to try out the new system called Solar Classroom in a Box. The concept, brainchild of the founders of UK company Alutia, provides school children in developing countries with access to computer-based learning, even if their school is in an area with little or no access to electricity. Extremely efficient components allow 10 computer stations to run for up to 8 hours a day, while the design, which includes no moving parts, uses open source software and can be maintained remotely, is resilient even in hot and dusty conditions. Rachel Wanjiru, who got to try out the system on the first day of operations, says she thought the system will provide access to a whole new world of knowledge. It can help us with sometimes like asking some difficult questions if you want to know more about a certain thing you can you can consult the computers fellow student alan Owage was particularly taken by the solar component of the system like the schools which don't have the the electricity uh, they can be having enough energy to work Jeffrey Thuel said access to the internet would likely have a huge impact on the students. They are able now to link with the outside world, they are able to link with their colleagues in outside schools and maybe be able to, uh, you know, explore more about the world. While the system, which arrives in its own plug-and-play boxes, has been developed to be applicable across most developing countries, Stonehouse, the company importing the computers to Kenya, is also looking at producing the systems locally. Company founders believe there is a massive unmet demand for education in computer and internet skills in unserviced rural areas. The system, paid for through fundraising by students at a private school in Nairobi, costs 16,000 US dollars and is the first of its kind in Kenya. According to Aleutia co founder Sharif Fansalo, the relatively maintenance free hardware and low cost of components mean the system can be used almost anywhere. So the, the, the relevance is now that it, the, the upfront costs are much lower um, and you can get computers. You can get an entire computer lab anywhere where there's sunshine. Okay, the government has not yet introduced the computer, computer education in primary schools, but our school is now going to be ahead because our children will be able to access the internet, they will be able to learn from the computers and now it will enhance their education. The solar system does have one drawback. It needs sunshine. But with plenty of that available in the Reefs Valley, the system installed at Rubiru Primary School should be humming along throughout the year.